Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today you can see I'm going to be talking about the purpose of screencasting. So if you're interested in this topic, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I think it's really important that we look at the reasons why we screencast. I think there are a lot of videos already available on the internet, which are actually a lot more professional looking, a lot more engaging. A lot of them look like movies with a lot of effects. And I think that we have to really think about, well, what's the point of screencasting? So um, one of the reasons here that I have is for allowing for clarification. So this means that maybe your students have lots of questions and they're, and they're emailing you with lots of questions and or they might have misconceptions about the learning experiences that you've designed. So maybe you want to just make a quick screencast just to go over some of those questions and those misconceptions. So I think one of the purposes that we would actually screencast is to allow for clarification. Now, another purpose is that it could facilitate the tutorial. And we know that there are already a lot of pre-made websites and wonderful videos, either from Khan Academy or YouTube. And they have been very professionally put together and probably better than what we could do. So I would use a screencast to maybe demonstrate or to record some low level facts and skills that maybe I couldn't find on other platforms. And another purpose you can see here is that it provides feedback. So I'm just going to move myself out of the way here. So we can actually use screencasts to give targeted feedback to our students. And it could be to a group of students or one to one or even the whole class. And of course, we want to make a screencast because we want to promote connection, which is what I've got here. I think our students really enjoy seeing our faces and how we communicate and give instructions. So I think it's important that every so often we do do a screencast so that students can still connect with us and build that relationship. Now, the last purpose of screencasting is to do with enabling that e-learning affordance of ubiquity. We want students to be able to access your screencast anytime, anywhere. And so making a screencast to either clarify, to promote connections, to facilitate a short tutorial or providing feedback to your students. I just recently read a study, a research paper that looked at the concentration times of students when they're actually watching videos. And this is not a video such as a movie, but it's a more direct instruction video where you're delivering content and material. This research paper basically suggested that students stop concentrating and listening after the six minute mark. And that reminds us that we should keep our screencast short because there are already wonderful movie standard videos out there that can describe a lot of things much better than we could. So if you've got any suggestions on screencasting, then please put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I really hope to see you next time.